Carolyn back from Absolute. Uh, we were just talking about blood tests and we mentioned vitamin D. Now it is very important that you do uh, always test your vitamin D. There's a lot of research going on at the moment and they're connecting the vitamin D uh, depletion so much to what's happening to the immune system. They're uh, looking into a lot for cancer research. And uh, for me specifically, what is interesting is for autoimmune disorders and reasons why uh, the hair is not growing back. So I found a really, really good um, uh, pocket guide. It's called the Essential Guide to Vitamin D. That's the Essential Guide to Vitamin D. It's by Philip Day. I'm a huge fan of Philip Day's work. And it's available online. You can buy the booklet. I think it's about $15 or so. Or you can download it. Um, and it's from Credence. That's C-R-E-D-E-N-C-E -E -E dot org. So uh, there's a lot of helpful information on that website, but that particular guide, the essential guide to vitamin D, I found very, very, very interesting. Now with vitamin D, I'm seeing people have been diagnosed with a deficiency by their doctor and they're put on supplements, and most of the supplements are coming in at 100 IU or international units per day. And the recent research that we've seen is that vitamin D, the requirements daily for an individual is 800 to 1,000 international units in a healthy individual. So for people who are actually deficient, when you need to actually use supplementation, the research is saying 3,000 to 5,000 international units per day for 6 to 12 weeks, and then followed by a maintenance dose of 1,000 to 2,000 international per day. Now most of us are not getting anywhere near that and I have seen people on vitamin D supplements and the vitamin D dropped further whilst they were supplementing. Vitamin D is one of the vitamins. It works in synergy with all of the other vitamins and as I always say when you're taking natural supplements it must be in a pH alkaline environment and in synergy with all the other elements it works for. So take that on board and uh, go and get your vitamin D tested. Thank you.